How's it guys? Welcome back to FX Rhapsody. Today we're looking at two currency pairs again. We're looking at the British pound Japanese yen and then we're going to also be looking at the British pound US dollar. For those of you that's new to my channel, go visit my website. It's on the bottom left corner over here where you will find previous analysis. You will also find a resource tab where you can download the COT report for free. The COT report we use in our analysis and you can get that for free on our website. There's also some nice other material strategies around um, regarding trading and especially for those of you that's new to trading, go visit it. There's some nice categories there for you to get started in your trading career. Also preferred brokers, one of the key things in trading is to get the right broker. A broker that's regulated, that's got the licenses in place and these guys are just one of the best around. So go visit them in and just go check them out on our website. So guys, let us start. Um, we're going to start off with the British pound Japanese yen. We're doing top-down analysis. We're um, looking at the daily time frame, moving down to the hourly time frame. So on a daily time frame, on the British pound Japanese yen, what we can see is some nice structure being broken over here at the bottom. Okay, just zooming in a little bit. So you can see that eventually there was a lot of consolidation and then a huge push, huge push on the British pound. And, um, but still we do see some liquidity intact, okay? Price reaching up to this highs over here, the previous highs, not tapping into that liquidity, just bouncing off that area and then making a little turn to the bottom. So we still have on a bigger picture, on a bigger scale, we have this consolidation of price, you know, both the British pound and the Japanese yen being weak. Um, let us just go view the COT reports before we go to a lower time frame. British pound, you can see that again, you know, lots of longs being closed in the markets, huge amount of shorts, and that was the huge push um, or the pull down basically. So you can see the net negative effect from going from net negative 29,000 to negative 50,000. So a lot of shorts being closed in the market. And then when we look at our Japanese yen again, or as well, we can see a similar picture. You know, longs being open in the market, but a lot of shorts being closed. So we have that um, consolidation effect, okay? Both the British pound and the Japanese yen being weak at the moment. So we have got this area where price is not moving to a direction, but, you know, we will definitely look out for when price does that. Um, not necessarily that you cannot trade this British pound or this currency pair when it is basically in consolidation on the lower time frames you can and I will show you. So basically on a four hour time frame, just a little, you know, how we can see this area being broken in the market. We saw, okay, that was the previous high. You see this huge push in the market. We see a massive, you know, or a couple of um, fair value gaps open. This is being the closest one to where price is currently, but we do want to see price breaking this area or this low. Just gonna highlight this, okay, once it does that, we will be focusing on what price is going to be doing when it hits this area. That is, if it is breaking that or if it's going to break that area, it's, you know, it's all also likely for price to just carry on to the upside. But again, we will keep our eyes on what is happening on this currency pair. Um, going down to the one hour time frame, we look at where we left off in our previous analysis. So this was our previous analysis, just zooming in a bit, you know what we did. And always what I do is I highlight two areas ending off the analysis just to keep an eye on those two areas. And then whenever price breaks below or above those areas, this is where we take action. So we can see price just broke below that area, just hovering back and going back up into that area once again. But as soon as price started reaching the top and it started booming up, so we can see a little fair value gap. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And you can see this area where price broke that previous high. Nice little fair value gap that was created between this candle and that candle. Okay, nice gap. Price going into or um, pushing up and then just retracing nicely into that fair value gap. So it's a nice little buy setup you could have taken right about there. I'm just doing that so you guys can see what I mean. So a little buy setup. Okay, and then you can see price moving to the upside. And you could have caught uh, plenty of pips on that currency pair. So zooming out and then eventually, obviously, price just started consolidating in the top. So what we want to see now is um, I'm just going to highlight the two areas that I'm going to be talking about or not talking about, but looking out for this week. So I'm looking at that high 
and I'm going to be looking at this low. So these are the two areas that I want to see price break. Okay, once it does that, and like we did just now, we take action once it passes or breaks these two um, highs and lows in the, in the markets. And once it does, you pull out either your Fibonacci or you look for any um, fair value gaps in the market and you trade accordingly. So let us move on to our next one. We're going to be looking at our British pound. Uh, there we go. British pound, US dollar. But again, we're starting on the daily time frame. Okay. Just going down to the daily. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And you can see still, you know, downwards moving the market. You know, there is no big signs of turning in the market again or yet. So basically, we have two areas. Okay, this is the area that was broken. There was liquidity that we've been taking out this week. So that was the first one because we had a low and then price turned up and then creating a little bit of a high with a candle. Price, you know, tapping into that liquidity at the bottom. Then price coming up. There was this high over here. Okay, that was created. It's also just, you know, price pushing into that area, retracing, not closing, but liquidity being tapped out in that area as well. So again, just a little bit of a consolidation that's forming on the daily time frame. We need to see price moving in some type of direction before we, you know, take any long longs. So on a four hour time frame, what we can see is this is the area that I was talking about. You know, this was the liquidity that was tapped out. We can also just mark out this bottom bit over here where you can see two areas in the market, you know, that we just talked about on the daily time frame liquidity tapping into that area going back up similar happened to the top tapping into that area coming back again so those are the two areas that we just looked at on the daily time frame also a little bit of a small fair value gap that happened um, with this candle over here so that was a high that was created when price reached this area price breaking above that area creating a nice little fair value gap in the market so between those two candles price pushing into that and then for those of you that is um, you know look or looked at that area and had a potential buy you could have been you know if you have to leave your your trades over the weekend you would have been you would be 37 pips odd in profit but again you know because price is just consolidating in those two areas you know that's just you know you need to be wary about that so on an hourly time frame basically just looking back at where we end up last week so there was this area where price broke through okay so price broke through that previous high because this is basically where price ended last week so price broke through that previous high and then coming back into that area so i just want to show you this so again similar to our previous pair little fair valley gap that happened in between that candle the the high of that candle the low of that candle, just zooming in, so you can see that. There we go. Okay, that's much better. So that in that the high of this candle, the low of this week, basically price retracing back into that fair value gap, and again you can see price just shooting up. Let's just zoom out a little bit, and then price just shooting up again. Then what happened was price consolidated once again, and then it shot down so you could have had this area okay this was a nice area of a break of structure in the market okay you can see this candle pushing through that area then pulling uh, pushing through again leaving a fair value gap and this is what i want to show you also as well guys okay so just going to zoom in so yes price created a nice fair value gap going down coming up again and if you look at this point over here look at that wick okay that's a nice just going slowly into that fair value gap a lot of guys won't trade this because it hasn't done a deep retracement yet okay fair enough if you didn't trade that that's perfectly fine i want to show you another entry that you could have taken so basically what happened was price consolidated again then we had a nice push downwards so i'm just taking this out so as soon as price made another run to the bottom okay it made another low and then it made another retracement so what happens is you take your Fibonacci from the swing high from where price started off to that swing low okay so we have a swing high this is the high price made a low it made a retracement 
And what does it do? And where does it retrace to? It retraces to the 62%. So that would have been a better and sweeter entry. Okay, so that's a nice little entry going down about almost 100 pips in profit. So what, where, if you had to take that um, entry over there, what would your exit strategy be? Okay, I'm just going to leave that in. Your exit strategy would obviously be liquidity. Okay, price, hunting liquidity. So you have this area in the market. So you have all these sell liquidity line here. You know, the guys buying up, leaving their stop losses over there. Right, price hunting that area. So you enter there, and this is basically where you exit because as price hunted that liquidity. Does it make sense, guys? Okay, so that's your exit strategy. So once price did that, price made another run to the top. Okay, so then it moved down again, and then it went up and it made another retracement down. So this one low to that high, and then a retracement. Okay, that's another entry low to that high as you can see so it's a swing low swing high retracing back into the 62 percent how's that another sweet entry that you could have taken okay and where's my ruler so if you had to take that entry that is another 170 to 180 pips up so where's your exit strategy for if you had to enter this area over here so let's say you entered over here oops and just just make that do that where do you exit on this okay where's your targets your targets will be your liquidity areas just gonna take that out so you your target is your liquidity excuse me your liquidity areas that's gonna be your liquidity at the top here that's your first target okay price hunting that liquidity because when price pushed down guys were selling it down so liquidity is lying above here that's your first target right about there that's always the hundred so price pushing up where's your second area or your second target area it's going to be the next area of liquidity and look at that price is hunting that liquidity up there guys i've made a couple of videos regarding liquidity and i will in the description i will put a video or a link to one of the videos about um how to look out for the liquidity and price action. So guys, go watch that as well. So that is where your exit strategies will be, or your exit points. So that is liquidity being hunted from this area over here. So that's your exits on your trades. Okay, so that's a couple of entries that you could have taken on this currency pay during this week. So now what we're gonna look out for is, we're gonna be looking at this high that's been you know, marked out in the market. That's the first high. And then I'm just going to make a little duplicate and I'm going to pinpoint out this low. So we're going to be looking at what price is going to be doing in between these two areas in the market. And then once price breaks any of these two areas, we will react just as I showed you now and just as I show you every week when we take or when we do analysis going from the previous week's analysis. So guys, that's all from my side. And if you, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. There's definitely more videos coming your way. So guys, I hope you've been having a wonderful week. And I hope you stay safe and happy trading, guys.